The feet are very vulnerable to diabetes-related complications. Diabetes is the leading cause of lower leg and foot amputation. Dr. Aaron Bean explains these complications and the importance of preventative care. All hospital admissions for diabetics, about 50% of those result from some type of problem, usually an infection in the foot. So really, diabetics really have a lot of problems with the feet. It usually manifests itself in the feet most often in diabetics. We see two types of patients, patients that have just been diagnosed with diabetes. Their primary care would like them to follow up with us for preventative care. Those patients sometimes are a low-risk diabetic, but we see them every few months. We monitor their feet and look for problem areas. With those patients, we can prevent almost 50% of amputations by just doing routine preventative care. Now the second type of patients we see are patients that usually come to us, sometimes it's already too late. They have an ulcer, they have an infection, and some of those patients even require an amputation because the problem has uh, gone on for too long. What happens is the blood supply to the foot, because it's farther down, you know, because of gravity and, and the, the vessels are smaller, the blood supply starts to die off, the arteries become hardened, but you also get what's called peripheral neuropathy, where the high blood sugars over time can actually kill the nerves and damage the nerves. And patients will develop either a callus or they'll develop a sore on the bottom of the foot. They don't even feel it. And over time, they start to get a sore and an opening in the skin and it can become infected. Patients will develop a bacterial infection that they let go or they don't realize they have an infection. By the time they present to us or we see them in the hospital, they've developed a large abscess or a collection of infection in the foot. That infection essentially destroys the tissue, it destroys the blood supply, and it can become even life-threatening at times where they get bacteria in their bloodstream. Preventative care results in the patients needing to look at their foot every day, do a quick foot inspection, and we teach them what to look for. Redness, you know, maybe a sign of an infection, an area that could be prone to getting an ulcer uh, or having an injury, and then they'll come in about every three months a lot of times we may need to trim their nails, you know, look on the bottom of the feet and do a more thorough inspection that they could do on their own. A diabetic sock or a diabetic shoe is basically prevented or it's made to prevent ulcerations or rubbing on the skin which can cause a sore. So usually they're made out of softer material. They're wider than a normal shoe with more cushioning because those patients can't feel something rubbing on the skin and eventually they'll get a sore that breaks down into a blister. So diabetics should wear a shoe that is wide enough it doesn't rub on the toes, it's not too narrow in the front or in the back, and typically we'll have patients come in, and we'll, have, we'll look at their shoes and see if they're adequate, make sure they're not too tight for their feet, and sometimes we'll even have to prescribe a custom shoe for the patient. What we find, the studies show that preventative care for diabetics can result in 50% less of a chance of having an amputation. I have an ulcer that turned into um, charcoal which eats away bones and uh, cartilage in your foot. And because of that reason, it started, my foot was going to buckle or would have had to be uh, amputated at that time. He put 15 screws um, and four brackets in my foot in order to save it. Rebuilt it from the inside out, cut it on both sides, opened it up, cleared all the bones and cartilage out and rebuilt my foot from the inside out. And rehab was probably about four months and uh, I was back at work. Technology, research, and most importantly, diligence by individuals with diabetes can greatly improve the management of their disease and reduce the risk of foot complications. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.